Hello everyone, I'm back in the field as you can see and I found half a button. That's nice. Looks like it's a pretty old one because, well, the craftsmanship is not very, well, good. <laughs> but I don't mind. It's a cool find. Well, it's just honestly a button, but, well, it's better than nothing. Which is what I found <laughs> before this. <laughs> just junk. Well, let's carry on now. Now, what do you think that is? Well, it's a badge. Um, that's pretty easy to see. Bad. What kind of badge? Well, I'm gonna tell you, it's World War II, and I've seen them found before, and a friend of mine also has one from his relatives, and, um, well, this is, in World War II, the, uh, the Germans had a series of, um, badges that resembled old, um, like from the dawn of history, so to say, um, yeah, of, like, clans and stuff, the, um, Badges or well, of Germanic clans and yeah, their shields in form of a small badge. And well, this is one, and it says, uh, let's see, Old Swedish, I think. Uh, so old Swedish, I don't know. It's made of zinc, and it used to be, I think, silver plated, and had some red enamel there. So yeah, it's basically the replica of an old ancient shield, which is quite cool. So, yeah, it's a nice find. And, uh, yeah, the Germans used to be stationed here because there used to be a barn right here. And, um, well, they ran from the forest over there to here. And they lost a lot of stuff. Um, in the last video I, I didn't find it because I thought it was a piece of junk and well it kind of is. But what I also found there was a um, piece of the filter of a Volksgas mask. Well the bottom part which has all these holes in it and stuff. So yeah I don't know what else could turn up here. It's quite a nice field isn't it? Well let's uh, see. Oh and I should also say it um, was a series so um, basically you could buy these things um, to support the German war effort so um, yeah it's basically like a collection of things and uh, yeah that's what you get if you give them money <laughs> you get those old shields which is really cool and I've just had a signal here but I'm not gonna do a live dig because I don't have a monopod or tripod or whatever port. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this out and show you what I found. Well, at least, a, at least it's a coin, but it's a zinc coin. It's 10 Reichsfennig from 1919 to 1920, but well, still, a coin's a coin, even though it's zinc and meh. Anyway, mm. this could have been many things, or uh, maybe a little of a pocket watch. I first thought it was a button, but when I carefully folded this up, this turned out, so yeah, maybe part of a pocket watch. And I think there's some initials in there, or yeah, probably initials. Uh, something there. Silver plated. Below that's copper. So, whatever it is, it's a nice find. Well, let's carry on. Wow, oh, I'm impressed. This was really deep, like six inches or something. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's uh, another Wehrmacht tunic button or, well, jacket button, whatever. Yeah, nice find. Another one made of aluminium, so it should be in pretty good condition and the shank is still on it as well. I hope there's a date in there because, well, there's a, at least a maker's mark. And t I can tell you that much for sure, but maybe even a date. So... Yeah, a couple of nice World War II finds today. I hope there's more to come. So there was the button, and here's the bow, and here's another coin. This time it's one Reichsfennig from, I don't know, because it's made of zinc and in really shit condition. But I shouldn't complain, a coin's a coin. And uh, 
Yeah, there are some really dark clouds over there. Well, it's not gonna rain. Which are great. Alright. Do you see it? And let's take it out. Well, not take it out, just. Well, <laughs> take it. We got another button. Alright. Focus. No idea what it says. It says something. I'll decipher it and come back to you in a second. Another one of these, huh? Alright, uh, another 10 Fenny coin. This one's, I think, from 1918. And for engines in pretty alright condition for a zinc coin. So, that's cool. Yep. Yeah. I hope this isn't going to be too bad. Yeah, you can see the dark clouds. They used to be up there. I hope it's just going to pass by, but when they were right overhead, it was just a really, really loud thunder, and now it's slightly raining, slightly dribbling more. I hope it's not going to be too bad, because I really don't want to go now. <laughs> because, well, if I want to go, uh, well, anywhere where I can, uh, well, hide because of the rain, is uh, well, at least a few meters away, and... I'll probably be pretty showered when I get there. So please make it stop, please. <laughs> oh. Well, it may be broken, but it's still nice. A K98 stripper clip, a cool stamp. And <laughs> it was just on the surface as well. Oh, that's cool. This side is missing, but still a nice one. Oh, it's raining. No. Just pass by, you stupid cloud. I don't like the look of this. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> but I'm gonna stay here, no matter what. Well, of course, if it starts bending as if someone was tipping over buckets, that's something else, but I'm gonna try. Well, this is unfortunate. It's another really thin coin, but there's really nothing to see on it. That's a shame, but... Oh, it's nice, it's still a coin. And also, uh, you can see this field. This is the field where I'll grow all the all of my shits about the weather. You may notice the field is empty. <laughs> yeah, it may be wet and really muddy, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, gotta use the time I have because now that school started again, I don't have all that much time. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Uh, Gotta say, these um, aluminium tagliatelle are really, really tasty. Yeah, really good noodles. You should buy them as well. You can see they're really delicious and healthy. So, yeah, I'm enjoying a plate of that now. And another World War II phone. Used to be a live round, a German one. It's broken. Already found two Lebel, or broken Lebel live rounds. Yeah, there's a lot of ammo in this field, but at least in uh, doing this I'm getting rid of that. <laughs> Alright. Oh wow, it's a copper hammer and there's actually something to see on it. Yay! I think it's one Stüber again, or one quarter Stüber. And it's definitely a very old one. There you go. 1750s perhaps, or earlier. Because the ones from the 1780s look uh, a lot different. <laughs> Let's put it that way. But yeah, that's a really, really cool coin. Never found one of these. This is definitely a copper hammered. So you could see it's a very irregular thing. I should really hold the camera in the right direction when I'm saying this. But yeah, the circle in the middle isn't really in the middle, is it? <laughs> Ooh, it's a cool find. It's a really, really cool find. Ah, oh, copper hammer. Gotta love these. And usually there's nothing to see on them, like the one I found before, and maybe the one I found today. It could be a copper hammer at all. Well, any type of copper coin, to be honest. <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's hope it doesn't rain again. But I don't think so. It seems to be pretty nice now, actually. So, yeah. What the hell? Three times the same coin in one day? That's weird. Another ten fennec coin. Hmm. 
Why are uh, there are so many here? Well, today. <laughs> I think I've only found two so far entirely, and now I found three in one day. <laughs> hmm, strange. It's re 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 roundup time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I don't quite know what I found um, because the detecting session or what whatever you want to call it, was last week, but I think I got most things here. So, let's just dive into it. Um, first of all, we got a stone. Yeah, great, it's a stone. Now, <laughs> it's an interesting stone, at least, because it says, well, it used to say Arlof there, which is a village nearby. So, that's quite interesting, because the barn it used to be attached to, well, uh, the newest this stone can be would be from the 1960s or 50s, <laughs> so at least something. Then we got a dress rate, uh, dress weight, there we go, not rate. <laughs> um, yeah, made of lead, already found one. I think it's actually exactly the same one, just without the plow damage on this side, but yeah, whatever. Um, and we have some pottery, and some more pottery, and I think there was some more, but that's... Uh, somewhere else in the room. <laughs> then we got a piece of lead. And also note, I didn't film everything you will see here, but I did find it on that day, I'm pretty sure. Apart from these things, but we'll come to them in a second. Uh, yeah, lead thing. And a musket ball, which is quite nice. I think it's a pretty old one. A random piece of lead. This will also come to in a second. Then we have part of an old clay pipe, which is really cool. So um, you can judge the age by the hole in the middle. You can see this is a pretty big one. So maybe 1700s. So that's also a really nice find. Part of an old key. Well, not old. That old, I think, because it's made of tin or zinc or something. But it could also be old, but then it would be disintegrated already. <laughs> um, then we got a nice handmade button. Nice one. I like that. Well, I'd like it more if it were complete, but I <laughs> can't have it all. Then we have a... Uh, whew, what, a what is it called in English? Um, belt rose? <laughs> well, in German it's good for water and... Belt Rose would be the exact translation of it. Uh, just a second, I'll just um, walk over here and show you a complete one so you know what they look like. And I think it's actually exactly the same. Here we go. Now it should be focused. Let's just go back and compare them. Alright. Here we are. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's Yeah, whatever I was saying, uh, phone was full once again. And let's continue. So, yeah, we have that there. And then we have a nice World War II find. Yeah, look at the condition. Isn't that nice? Well, apart from that bit. <laughs> it's a K98 clip. What more can you ask for? It's a really nice um, K98 clip because it's the... Well, this version, and it has this brass piece there, so if that weren't um, gone, I think it would look brand new, but meh, <laughs> can't have it all. So if we, if I can get it in the light and focus, now go on. Is it that hard for you to focus, you stupid camera? There we go. Uh, somewhere there it says Z, which is the same marking I have on another stripper clip, which I found in the forest, um, well, pretty much right next to it. So it was definitely the same unit. So that's cool, it's always nice. Nice. <laughs> nice to um, be proven right with your theory about units going places. <laughs> and there's also the steel bit, well, which used to be the spring in there. 
putting all the tension on there so the cartridges don't just fall off <laughs> because that wouldn't be very useful. <laughs> then more World War II stuff, uh, part of the harmonica read, and I think one of these buttons, I think this one. Yeah, when I was uh, trying to bend over the shank, it broke off, but with super glue, I got it back in place. So it uh, has a maker's mark there, W R, and I think it still has some field gray color on it. So that's cool. Um, yeah, then we have the badge. Yeah, I think I found it in that video, which says Alt Schwedish. So. It is the um, shield design of an ancient Swedish clan or something. I'm pretty sure I, I explained the origin of this and uh, when I found it, so I won't just repeat that because I think people would just get bored. So um, then we have another button, a more modern style, which says uh, Wiskirchen somewhere. Which is a city nearby. Um, yeah. Stop. Then we have one ten race for the coin uh, from 1918. So what for one coin? And we have another ten race for the coin from 1922. And we have another ten race for the coin from I don't even know when because the date is completely rotten away so that's three <laughs> so yeah whatever they were doing there after the war they were they surely were uh, tossing around money like it was free <laughs> well the money pretty much was worthless back then then back then because of inflation yay let's pay all the reparations oh wait we got no money now <laughs> great <laughs> um, yeah Thank God for that. <laughs> then we have one Reichsfennig from the same shit material, and even though it's actually newer, it looks older. <laughs> yeah, it's it's even more rotten than these crappy coins are. <laughs> and that is uh, pretty spectacular, if you ask me. Then we have this thing, maybe pocket watchlet, which is to be silver plate, which uh, says 16 there, maybe a date <laughs> 16 or something well that would be cool but mm, i think the first pocket watches were around at 1680 and they were so expensive that they were basically like cars back then but really fancy cars <laughs> um then we got a um, pipe cover i think at least it would make sense because i found a lot of pipes there I mean smoking pipes, not like water pipes or something. <laughs> um, yeah, you can see these holes here, so they definitely was supposed to be air flowing through, so it would make sense to be a smoker's pipe. And um, here we have another button. Shank is broken off on this one, but at least in this way it's complete, which is uh, so it's nice, another flat button. Then this, whatever it is, maybe part of a belt buckle, an old one, I don't know, made of copper, but that's about it. Well, I think it's brass actually. Now let's come to the interesting coins, because now we've just had the really, really boring coins. <laughs> um, let's see, is this... Yeah. Now I can hold it in the camera. This is one quarter Stüber, and if you've been watching this channel, you you will be familiar with that coin, because well, right there is another one, and I have three more, so that's number five now. But this one's different, as you can see by the design. If I'm going to compare this to, uh, let's say a 1600 silver hammer, this design, this design. Looks pretty much the same, doesn't it? Nothing like this one. See? Very different design. And that's because of the origin of this one. These are from the Großherzogtum Jülich Berg. And this one is from the um, 
Erzbistum Köln. So this is from Cologne and this is from Jülich. So yeah, they obviously made the coins different and these are from the 1780s. And this one's a little earlier. This I think is from 1747 and if I remember to, I'll also put a picture up of a nicer conditioned one because, well, things have a silver, well, that would be cool. Copper hammers, yeah, just look how thin these are. I'm lucky to have found it in that particular field because that field is just great for coins and unlike another one where I found another Stüber from 1789, I think. And it was just, yeah, it was, it was a sad story. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Then we come to the um, next coin and the last coin. No, I think you can see the date right there, 1761. Oh, come on, it used to be focused. There we are. And if you can see, it, there's a wand and a a uh, line and a two, so it's half of a <laughs> just like on these Stüber coins, but it's well, these are quarter ones. This, uh, well, let's just cut a long story short it's uh, one half of a pfenning, so that's interesting because um, here locally there didn't used to be any pfennings until the uh, well, after Napoleon was here, then they had all the fennings and blah and stuff <laughs> around, but not at this time, so it can't be from here. Let's turn it around. We have a crest here, and I found it out because of the crest and the date and because it's all fenning. This is actually from Würzburg, which is near Nuremberg, which is uh, quite a bit away. So that's also a nice thing to find because, well, this just proves the fact that this really used to be an important trade route from medieval times to until, well, I don't know, World War Two or something. <laughs> because, well, this is from the same path. Hmm. Interesting, and that's from the late 1400s. <coughs> So, yeah, really, really interesting road, I gotta say. <laughs> and I'll hopefully be there tomorrow or, well, the day after tomorrow. Also found this there, some sort of a strap buckle made of aluminium, so it's probably from World War II, also weighs completely nothing, so, <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> can just blow it away. <laughs> because it weighs absolutely nothing. <laughs> and then we have a uh, top of an old bottle. Just like... Come on, uh, don't fall off one of these. There we go, this one's I think from World War II. An old wine bottle. And, well, these are exactly the same thing. Just this one's broken, unfortunately. I've also got a, well it used to be a live horn but it got hit there by the plow and this used to be the bullet so it was probably an incendiary one because it's hollow. And